All right, I feel like I'm in a, the alleyways of like Philadelphia, but uh, welcome back. I'm making sure I locked my Jeep. Um, spring rummage sale. All right, so we are at a rummage sale. Yes, another rummage sale, another week. This whole week or this whole month of May, there's gonna be a bunch, so. We've already hit up a bunch. Let's find some more bunches of treasure and make it another fun episode of finding cool things at this church yard sale. They even have a sign out front. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens. I feel like wearing the, uh, the, the jacket was a little bit too much. Suit jackets. There was a section where they used to have DVDs and CDs, and there ended up being like a lot of a lot of video games, but I don't know where the heck that thing was. Uh, it might not be over here. I'm about to go the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way, but that's okay. I'm coming out. Sorry. Maybe it was over here. Maybe it wasn't over here. Found it. It's over here. Shouldn't be at the edge of the table. Like that. stuff on this table. Yeah, I gotta go through. Here you go through. I'm in a hurry. Okay. Me I too. Some, I have to get I back need, to work. I need work. to see what's under this plate. That's what I need. Let's see if there's anything hiding underneath here. Nope. Doesn't look like it. So put over here. I don't think I see anything hiding. Excuse me. Yep, go ahead. So prices here are so so cheap. I mean these things are like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars each. I'm not seeing anything that really 
speaks to me. You see so much of this forest, floral, and botanical kind of stuff. That's only 50 cents. The estate of Charles Rene McIntosh. Oh, it's like popping out of the frame. I can't tell if it's a print or if that's actually on there. Well, the glass is like not staying in there. I don't really buy art, but that kind of speaks to me. 50 cents, I'm not gonna, not gonna get cheap over it. They do have a starter jersey over here, but it's a kid's. Unfortunately, St. Louis Blues, that's probably early 2000s. But it's a kid's small, that's not even gonna come close to fitting me. These are five dollars. Don't need those. Left-handed clubs, man. My friend was asking me about these, and I got them, and they never stopped by to look. I don't know what the heck Buzzsaw is. Okay. Thank you. We might be missing two. I'm not leaving. Trying to count them. You got a wedge there, so it's gonna screw everything up. Alrighty. Stinks about the jersey. If it's an adult size, I'd absolutely grab it, but I do not need a youth. Ooh, hold up. Size are these. Jeez, now I gotta somehow figure out how I take this off and see if it fits. I don't even know what the price is. Oh, oh. Oh, feel kind of tight. No. Jeez. Oh, I can't take it off. I can take somebody down here. Somebody at the end can take somebody. See on the bottom of the I'd like to come back and get some basketballs, but they feel small, but I don't know. I feel like they're probably a good deal. Alright, throwing this instead of the boots for five bucks. Alright, so I made it home. It is currently pouring outside. We're getting hit by rain for the next 48 hours here. Um, yeah, I probably should put on my muck boots that I just bought and then walk them inside, but they're a little tight on me. So I was going to do the recap in here, but I think it's tradition to do it with the pup. And a lot of people like seeing her, so we'll do it inside. All right, well, there's the dog. Tail's going, I still got. So yeah, anyway, today's video is being filmed a day after last week's uh, rummage sale. So I know I said about the rain. Uh, some of the stuff's actually what? Uh, for that rummage sale, I had a lot of people message me about it. I think it did run through the weekend. But yeah, now is when the rain's starting, so I still have all the stuff from yesterday. Salsa is going at it. Get in there, Salsa. I don't know what you're getting at, but get in there. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't see that one. This one has a... What'd they do? Ah, they had $5 on it. Unless that came off something else. But uh, all the shirts were a quarter. Yes, that's right, a quarter. I should have bought shirts just so I can use them for racks. Because that's how cheap it was. And I got one good, good hat here. All right, so I did grab some odds and ends today for today's video. I did grab some candlesticks. I know I talked about this in my rummage sale, that big rummage sale, how every candlestick seems to be a little bit different. Uh, but we got some brass ones here with kind of like a swirl design. I thought those are kind of neat. This little, I don't know, it was a goblet or whatever. Uh, this stuff didn't have prices on it. I spent a total of $10. I think I got to $9.75. And then he got to this stuff, and he's like, just make it 10 bucks." So that is not a bad deal at all. Uh, like I said, the T-shirts were really, really cheap. This also was extremely cheap. 
it doesn't have the logo in there it is and these look like they were barely worn if at all uh, you do have some discoloration at the bottom but nothing too crazy unfortunately they are not my size i also noticed it's a little bit darker in here as opposed to out there which i probably should have done to recap over there uh, but really cool muck boots. These have a crazy good uh, resale value, even used. Um, I'm going to hold on to them. They aren't my size, but if people come over, I absolutely hate like saying, hey, let's, uh, let's go over here. Let's go check out this. Let's check out that. Hey, I'm thinking about doing this. And we go outside, and uh, they ruin their sneakers in the mud because it's just muddy everywhere. Uh, so this would be great. I got this one print, which at least I think it is a print. Thought it was kind of nice. I've been selling a ton of paintings, prints, and picture frames this year. Not getting a lot of money. They never do fetch a lot of money, but uh, it seems like people want them now. I guess people are doing a lot of redecorations. They're decorating their house differently. I don't know if there's any value on this, but I thought it looked very, very nice in there. Um, it does have some information at the bottom of University of Glass Glasgow. And this uh, came out of the Hunterarian, Hunterarian Art Gallery. It says it was printed in France, so it must be a print of some sort. Did buy a bunch of shirts, got some hats. Uh, this is actually sports specialties. I believe this is called their shadow design. Uh, it's not worth a whole lot, but um, it's worth a lot more than a quarter. And uh, any sports specialties hats seem to hold their value. They kind of jump around in the uh, the brand in terms of what has value and what doesn't. About five, six years ago, everyone wanted starter, and then everyone wanted something else, and then everyone wanted something else. It just keeps on going on, like Logo Athletic and Sports Special Teams. Sport Specialties, uh, those brands are holding their value as of right now, but really cool design here. Kind of hard to find this college stuff, but pretty neat. I uh, did buy some T-shirts. So this is the back print of the Marlboro. That I thought was kind of cool. It's got the, uh, oh wow, this is from Nazareth, 1994. It's kind of got a print on the shoulder. I've not seen that yet. I've seen the pocket tees, I haven't seen that. We do have an Elvis Presley shirt. That's kind of cool, that's on an old Fruit of the Loom. Um, I think this was an older Delta. That's the only reason why I bought it. it doesn't, no, it's old Haynes Beefy from early 2000s. Duck, North Carolina. It's kind of got a great logo on the back. I guess I can flip this over. Oh yeah, here's what the good stuff is. This I thought was amazing. It is stained, but it's this all over print with uh, different African animals. I don't know what that is. That looks like, uh, I forgot the name, but they're not oxes, I don't think. We got some lions, some cheetahs, some elephants. I think it's a rhinoceros over there. I don't even know what kind of tag this was. It doesn't even have a tag, but it's kind of got that great patina looking color on it. Oh, it's all stained over here too. That might come out. But that's really cool. That's a nice older one. We have Vero Beach Dodgers. I don't think they're the Dodgers anymore. This is probably my favorite shirt, so I'll save that for last. Somehow I managed to flip this over and still screw it up. Uh, just an older, just an older Kate May sweatshirt. Try and grab that for basketball guy. He does very well with these destination sweatshirts and t-shirts. So whenever I can grab it at a yard sale or a flea market or a rummage sale, he always is good for the money and pays me back for it. But trying to look out for the other people, especially if he's not around. This one's kind of cool. It's a heavyweight Speedo sweatshirt. That's kind of neat. We have a, I think this is Steve Carlton, Phillies. Nice vintage color. Nothing too crazy here. Poisonous dart frogs. For some reason, I always remember seeing them at uh, the zoo. And everyone always talks about the poisonous dart frogs. And I thought they'd play a much bigger role in my life, and they don't, unfortunately. It's just a local high school. And we have a Kutztown University, like a ringer shirt, probably from the late 90s. So that was really cool. Uh, and then my favorite shirt is definitely this piece, which 
you like Lion King, you'll absolutely love this. I assume it's probably from like Kmart. But that is amazing. Huge, huge font on that. It was $11 way back when. The Lion King. Now playing at a theater near you. It's like the original Lion King. One size fits most. And unfortunately, <laughs> we can't go back in time and just buy like the whole rack because I'm sure this shirt is worth a lot more than $11 right now. This huge logo design. Very, very cool. This Disney stuff goes in and out of style, similar to a lot of other things like the Harley Tees um, and a lot of other brands, but I think Disney is still holding its value as of right now in the vintage world. But very, very cool. So that's going to wrap it up here for today's awesome treasure hunt. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another fun video. Uh, always a blast. I'll stand out here where I should have probably done a recap because it's probably a little bit brighter and the camera's probably picking up the light a little bit better. Got to remember to do that next time. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. We have a couple more rummage sales probably here for the spring. Um, and yeah, it's going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.